Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we will have question answer session regarding sterilization and disinfection. Sterilization and disinfection is a very important topic in microbiology. These are applied in food industry, pharmaceutical industry, hospital, research lab, pathological lab, microbiology lab, and so many other fields. For CSI NEET, ICMA NEET, GATE, NEET exam, the questions regarding this topic is very important. Some brief notes regarding this topic is also provided here which will be beneficial for you. So stay tuned in this video. First questions. Which of the following is an example of dry heat sterilization? Option 1 incineration, option 2 flaming, option 3 hot air oven and option 4 is all of the above. And the correct option is all of the above. That is incineration, flaming, hot air oven all are example of dry heat sterilization. In dry heat sterilization, is accomplished by conduction of heat where water plays no role in the process of sterilization. Dry heat kills microorganism by oxidation of molecules. In the flaming method, the metallic inoculating loop are disinfected. Whereas in incineration, it is employed for destruction of infective material. The soil, dressing, bedding, pathological material like sputum and tool and carcasses are reduced to ashes by burning. That is, in incineration, the infective materials come ash by burning. In a hot air oven, glassware like syringes, petri dishes, test tubes, flask, pipettes, etc. are sterilized. Surgical instruments like scalpel, forceps, scissors are also sterilized in hot air oven. Oily fluids which are impermeable to water, such as oil, fats, should be sterilized in hot air oven. Because in hot air oven, moisture plays no role in sterilization. Chemicals which would clamp or form in crack in presence of moisture should be sterilized in hot air oven. Next, which of the following is moist heat sterilization? Option 1, tindalization. Option 2, autoclave. Option 3 pasteurization, option 4 is all of the above and the correct option is all of the above. That is tindalization, autoclave, pasteurization, all are examples of moist heat sterilization. Another example of moist heat sterilization is in speciation. We will discuss later. Tindalization is done at 100 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes for consecutive 3 days. Holder method of pasteurization is done at 63 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. Whereas flush method of pasteurization is done at 72 degrees centigrade for 20 seconds followed by cooling to 4 degrees centigrade. Fourth one is autoclave done at 121 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes at 15 PSI that is pound square per inch or at 134 degrees centigrade for 18 minutes. At 121 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes at 15 PSI is not sufficient to kill the prion or inactivate the prion. But at 134 degrees centigrade for 18 minutes or above uh, 18 minutes is, uh, uh, is enough to kill the or inactivate the prion. Chemicals such as powder should be sterilized by option 1 autoclave, option 2 hot air oven, Option 3 incineration and the option 4 is tindalization. And the correct option is hot air oven. Chemicals such as powder would form into cake or clamp in presence of moisture. So it should not be sterilized by moist heat sterilization. Such as autoclave, tindalization. Here autoclave and tindalization are the example of moist heat sterilization. So, these two methods should not be used to sterilize the chemicals such as powder. Whereas in incineration, we have known that the uh, infective materials are turned into ashes by burning. If the chemicals or the, that is the powder is turned into ashes, we will be unable to use it for uh, further. So, this incineration process are also not used to sterilize the chemical such as powder. Whereas hot air oven is, uh, uh, is a process where 
no motion no play uh, no role in the process of sterilization so it is should be used to sterilize the chemical such as powder substances to be sterilized in hot air oven should be absolutely dry articles like rubber goods fabrics or any inflammable or volatile substance should not put inside the hot air oven next here we have a uh, uh, give a brief about the moist heat sterilization it is uh, categorized into three one is less than 100 degree centigrade other is at 100 degree centigrade and the third one is above 100 degree centigrade in less than 100 degree centigrade it is two method one is pasteurization and another one is inspissation again the pasteurization of milk at below the 100 degree centigrade is divided into two method one is holder method of pasteurization another one is flash method of pasteurization from the name you can easily uh, understand in holder method of pasteurization it means you have to hold for some time so it should be 63 degree centigrade for 30 minute in flash method of pasteurization it requires a flash of time that is second that is 72 degree centigrade for 20 second or it may be 71.7 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 second both are almost same in flash method of pasteurization it kills the coxal barnet whereas in holder method of pasteurization it is unable to kill the coxal barnet at 100 degree centigrade is boiling at 100 degree centigrade that does not kill the endospore whereas tindalization that also done at 100 degree centigrade for 20 minute for consecutive 3 days it kills the endospore and in uh, above 100 degree centigrade it is autoclave it is the surest method to kill the endospore in autoclave is done at 121 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 minute at 15 pound square per inch pressure choose the incorrect option that is you have to choose the false statement here different method of sterilization and their temperature and holding time is mentioned and from this option you have to choose the incorrect option or the false statement for inspissation it is 80 to 85 degree centigrade for 20 to 20 minutes for consecutive 3 days option 2 is tindalization that is 100 degree centigrade for 20 minute for consecutive 3 days option 3 is holder method of pasteurization that is 63 degree centigrade for 30 seconds and the flush method of pasteurization that is 72 degree centigrade for 20 second and the answer will be 63 degree centigrade for 30 seconds we have previously already discussed that in holder method of pasteurization you have to hold for some time that it should not be second it should be in minute or more than that so this holder method of pasteurization done at 63 degree centigrade for 30 minute so here it is the incorrect option whereas in inspissation is it is correct 80 to 85 degree centigrade for 20 to 30 minute for consecutive 3 days it is correct this 3d process and tindalization at done at 100 degree centigrade for consecutive 3 days it is also correct and the flush method of pasteurization done at 72 degree centigrade for 20 second it is also correct hot air oven is um, oven uh, sterilized at 160 degree centigrade for 1.5 to 2 hour or 190 degree centigrade for 60 to 20 minute we have already discussed about autoclave previously next questions lg medium is sterilized by option 1 autoclave option 2 hot air oven option 3 pasteurization and the option 4 is inspissation and the correct option is inspissation inspissation is done at 80 to 85 degree centigrade for 20 to 30 minute for consecutive 3 days it is a one kind of moist heat sterilization process in lg medium contain the egg suspension so it should not be sterilized by autoclave because the protein or egg containing media are disrupted by high temperature in autoclave high temperature that is 121 degree centigrade it used that will uh, destroy the egg or protein in the media present in the media 
ALJ is the selective media which is used for the cultivation and isolation of mycobacterium species. Next one. Which of the following does not kill endospore? Option 1 is incineration. Option 2 is autoclave. Option 3 is pasteurization. Option 4 is tindalization. And the correct option is pasteurization. For you must know that endospore is very highly heat resistant structure. So in pasteurization is done at uh, below 100 degrees centigrade that is 63 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes that is holder method of pasteurization. Another one is 72 degrees centigrade for 20 seconds. So uh, this low temperature is not sufficient to kill the endospore. Whereas autoclave is the surest method for sterilization uh, and it kill the endospore and tindalization also kill the endospore. Tindalization is 3 day process that done at 100 degrees centigrade. Whereas in incineration the infective materials are turned into ashes. That is, is the endospore must be destroyed by burning. So, the option is pasteurization. Correct option. In pasteurization, packaged or non-packaged foods, for example, fruit juice or milk are treated with mild heat, which is usually less than 100 degrees centigrade to eliminate the pathogens and extend the shelf life. So, this less than 100 degrees centigrade is not enough to kill the endospore. This process is intended to destroy or deactivate microorganisms and enzymes that contribute to spoilage or risk of disease, including vegetative bacteria, but most endospores survive the process. Next one. Milk pasteurization efficacy is determined by checking the presence of option 1 alkaline phosphatase, option 2 pectin methyl esterase, option 3 is polygalacturinous and option 4 is esterase. And the correct option is Alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase is present naturally in the raw milk. This alkaline phosphate are denatured by pasteurization. So if alkaline phosphatase is present after pasteurization of the milk, it means that the milk is not properly pasteurized or this pasteurized milk is contaminated with the raw milk. So for determination of uh, milk pasteurization efficacy, alkaline phosphatase is very essential and its presence is very essential to determine its efficacy. In acidic foods such as fruit juice and beer, the heat treatments are designed to inactivate enzymes such as pectin, methyl esterase and polygalacturinose and destroy spoilage microbes such as yeast and lactobacillus. Not all spoilage microorganisms are destroyed by pasteurization temperature. The subsequent refrigeration is necessary. Next questions. Milk is pasteurized in batch method by keeping it at option 1 63 degrees centigrade for 30 minute, option 2 72 degrees centigrade for 20 second, option 3 73 degrees centigrade for 30 minute and the option 4 is 72 degrees centigrade for 6 minute. And the correct option is batch method of pasteurization is done at 63 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. This batch method also known as the VAT method or also known as the holder method of pasteurization. It is the simplest and oldest method for pasteurization of milk. Whereas 72 degrees centigrade um, for 20 second is the flash method of pasteurization. It is also known as high temperature short time 72 degrees centigrade for 20 seconds or it may be 71.7 degrees for 15 seconds and then immediately cooled below 4 degrees centigrade. This flash method of pasteurization is able to kill the coxial barnity. What is the temperature and the exposure time of autoclave? Option 1 100 degrees centigrade for 1 hour. Option 2 is 80 to 85 degrees centigrade for 20 to 30 minutes for 3 days. Option 3 is 100 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes for consecutive 3 days and the option 4 is 121 degree for 15 to 20 minutes and the correct option is 121 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes.
because the autoclave is done at above 100 degrees centigrade we have already previously discussed autoclave is the surest method for bacterial spore destruction already discussed steam saturated at high pressure and temperature is a better sterilizing agent than dry heat bacteria are intrinsically more susceptible to moist heat as bacterial proteins coagulate rapidly contents should be arranged loosely to ensure free circulation of steam inside the chamber the air must be allowed to escape from the chamber as temperature of air steam mixture at given pressure is lower than that of pure steam which of the following article can be sterilized in autoclave option 1 is culture media option 2 rubber goods option 3 dressing materials or gloves option 4 is suture materials and the option 5 is all of the above and the correct option is all of the above although the culture media are sterilized in autoclave but the serum or egg containing medium such as lofflets medium lj medium dorset medium are not sterilized by autoclave because the protein or egg containing media are disrupted by high temperature this media are sterilized by inspection although the suture materials are sterilized in autoclave but the cat curd is not sterilized in autoclave it should be sterilized by ionizing radiation all the surgical instruments are sterilized in autoclave except the sharp instrument the sharp instrument are sterilized by 5% crystal next question which one is an example of moist heat sterilization at 100 degree centigrade option 1 tindalization option 2 gas sterilization option 3 pasteurization and option 4 is inspection and the correct option is tindalization because tindalization is done at 100 degree centigrade whereas pasteurization and inspection are done below the 100 degree centigrade inspection is done at 8 to 85 degree centigrade for 20 to 30 minute for consecutive 3 days holder method of pasteurization done at 63 degree centigrade for 30 minute flash method of pasteurization done at 72 degree centigrade for 20 second tindalization done at 100 degree centigrade for 20 minute for consecutive Three days that kills the endospore. Autoclave done at 121 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 minute at 15 pounds square per inch pressure. Which of the following is an example of sterilization of heat sensitive material? Option one filtration, option two is gamare, and option three is tindalization. Option four is both one and two. Option five is both one and three. And the correct option is both one and two. That is filtration and gamare. Whereas in the tindalization, uh, is one kind of moist heat sterilization process where temperature hundred degree centigrade is required. So, uh, heat sensitive materials are not sterilized by tindalization. Filtration method is very useful for making bacteria free preparation of substances which get damaged by heat. For example, bacteria-free filtrates of toxin and bacteriophages, sterilization of serum, antibiotic, and sugar solution, and blood product. Filtration is also used for purification of water. High efficacy particulate air filters are used to deliver clean bacteria-free air to cubicle or room. Example: laminar air flow system. Rubber or plastic disposable goods, disposable syringes, surgical cat cut, bone and tissue graft, adhesive dressing are sterilized by ionizing radiation. The example of ionizing radiation is X-ray, gamma ray. Ionizing radiation does not cause any appreciable increase in the temperature, so this technique is called also cold sterilization. Next question: Ionizing radiation is used for sterilization of option 1 medical devices option 2 pharmaceutical option 3 is tissue for transplantation and option 4 is all of the above and the correct option is all of the above ionizing radiation is used to sterilize medical devices pharmaceuticals such as hormones sutures vaccines sterilizing packaged disposable articles such as iv line catheter syringes gloves it does not causes any appreciable increase in temperatures hence known as cold sterilization this ionizing radiation is highly lethal to cells for example human or bacteria this is 
unable to kill the uh, endospore because the bacterial spores are resistant to ionizing radiation. The example of ionizing radiation are X-ray, gamma ray, etc. Gas relation which gas is used option 1 ethylene oxide, option 2 nitrogen dioxide, option 3 sulfur dioxide, option 4 is ozone and the correct option is ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide is highly inflammable, hazardous so it should never be used 100%. 3 to 10 percent ethylene oxide is used and rest 90 to 97 percent is inert gas. Ethylene oxide has a good penetrating power even through the plastic. Plastic goods, polyethylene tube, artery and bone grafts, cytoscope, culture media, vaccines can be sterilized by ethylene oxide related gas sterilization. These objects are kept in a chamber from which air is removed by vacuum pump. And then a mixture of ethylene oxide and carbon dioxide is introduced in the cabinet. Ethylene oxide is alkylating agent and exert its lethal effect on proteins or bacteria. It is active against both bacteria and spores. Next questions. Sterilization control for hot air oven is option 1 bacillus geothermophilus, option 2 clostridium titani, option 3 Bacillus pumulus, option 4 is Brevintimonas timunita, and the correct option is Clostridium titani. The sterilization control of other methods are mentioned here. Autoclave, is, is, it is Bacillus stearothermophilus. Pellets of sulfur in stress tube or brownish tube sterilizer control tubes may be used as a chemical indicator for autoclave. At 1 to 20 degrees centigrade, sulfur gets melted with change in shape and the red solution of brownish tube turns red to green. For hot air oven, the sterilization control is Clostridium titani or it may be Bacillus subtilis or Bacillus atrophicus. In hot air oven, the brownish tube with green spot is act as a chemical indicator for sterilization control. For filtration, the sterilization control is Brevintimonas demonita. For radiation, the sterilization control is Bacillus pumulus. And the last one is gas sterilization. For gas sterilization, the sterilization control is Bacillus globigii. G for gas, G for globigii. Which of the following kill endospore? Option 1 sterilant, option 2 germicide, option 3 sanitizer and option 4 is disinfectant and the correct option is sterilant. Sterilant is a chemical agent that destroys or kill microorganism including the spore whereas germicide are chemical or physical agent that destroy most microorganism but not in the spore used on skin or inanimate objects. Sanitizer are usually an agent that usually is detergent. It reduces the number of bacteria to a safe level. Disinfectant are compounds that kill microorganisms except bacterial endospore. Since this may be harmful to human tissue, disinfectant are usually used for inanimate objects. Next one. In membrane filtration method, filter membrane made from Option 1 cellulose acetate, option 2 cellulose nitrate, option 3 polycarbonate and the option 4 is all of the above. And the correct option is all of the above. F membrane filtration is used to sterilize the heat sensitive material. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel.